Here's example number um, 12. Then you have to factor 6x squared plus x minus 2. Uh, step number 1 is multiplying your a and your c. a is 6 and c is negative 2. So negative 12 is um, our value for number 1. Number 2, you're going to write down all your factors of 12. 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. Now, if you're unsure about this, instead of staring at your paper, you can start trying different, num different numbers. That'll work as well. So, if I was unsure of what went into 12, once my calculator cleared, I would start dividing. Well, 12 goes into 1 12 times. <coughs> Now, the next number up from 1 is 2, so I'll try 12 divided by 2. So that's 2 times 6. Uh, let me try 12 divided by 3, and I get 4. So I've done all these numbers. Now, the next number is 5. If I try 12 divided by 5, that doesn't work because it's a decimal. And after 5 is a 6, and I can stop there when I messed up my division. You can't have 12 divided, divided by. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and I've already sort of, I already have that one, so I can stop with these three. So if you're unsure, try it with the calculator. I'll make one of those multiplication tables uh, with the, the 12 by 12 grid, either one, and, and figure it out. Set number three. One of these two, one of these three sets of um, factors will add up to positive 1, or get to positive 1. I cannot do anything with 1 and 12 to get to 1. I'll either get an 11 or a 13. I can't do anything with a 2 and a 6, because that will give me, if I do 2 plus negative 6, I'll get negative 4. And if I do negative 2 plus negative 6, I'll get negative 8. So I'll never get to 1, even by subtract them. But if I do something with 3 and 4, I know that 3 and 4, negative 3 plus 4, will indeed give me 1. All right, so that means I'm going to use negative 3 and positive 4. If you're unsure, you're going to have to start writing things out. So, you know, 3 plus 4 is 7. That's no good. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. That's no good. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1. That's what I want. So I have to go through all those to find out what the right combination is. You need to be willing to do that. Step number four is writing out your fractions. <clears throat> it's going to be A over your first answer for number three. That's your first number three. And A over your second number three, which is here. So we said that A is uh, six. That's your six over negative three. That's my first one. A over positive four. And all I have to do is reduce those fractions, but keep the negatives where they are. Uh, 6 divided by 3 is um, would be 2 over negative 1. That's my first fraction. 6 over 4 is 3 divided by 2. So I have my two fractions. And the last part is right in parentheses. I'm sort of running out of room here. So I have 2x minus 1 is my first term. Second term is 3x plus 2. <coughs> and if I wanted to check, if I wanted to check this problem, I would, and why wouldn't I put my original uh, polynomial, which is 6x squared plus 1x plus 2, which is up in y1, and in y2 I'd put my factored answer, which I said is 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 2, and then when I graph it, if I get one quadratic, that tells me that that is the correct answer because. That tells us that the two uh, equations um, right here and right here are equal to each other because I only see one quadratic. So let me draw on it. Okay, go away, little thing. That's not let me draw on it. If there's only one quadratic, then we know that's correct. So our answer is 2x minus 1 times 2x plus 2.